All right, guys. It's part one of mounting my Easy Air Ride kit. I had to start with a tank and compressor first because I didn't know exactly where I was going to have all that stuff. The bags, you know exactly where they're going. The tank and compressor. There's several options. This is a seven gallon tank, which is rather large. I think the owner, Steve, was thinking that some other competitors offer a three or five gallon tank and he's thinking seven will definitely get you a lot more air and several up and down travels before you run out of air versus the smaller tanks but that's the downside you kind of limited with the size of tank this is to where you can mount it i think he designed it to where you can mount here but you have to notch you have to notch the frame rail a little bit and obviously move well you don't have to remove this but you could if you wanted to you don't need it and it looked like I had to notch it quite a bit just to get the the round part of this tank to clear. I don't know if y'all can see that in there. Kind of just wasn't enough room. But the way this frame kind of drops back, this spot was much better. Nothing had to be trimmed. I did have to make uh, some spacers to kind of lift this up because it was like the fitting would be hitting right here against that cross member there. I also had to had to remove the rear bumper to slide it in. I also had to jack the bed up. Couple of scrap boards, three quarter inch plywood, so about an inch and a half high. But once I did that, the tank goes in and out real easy, which is nice. I haven't tightened these bolts up yet. It's gonna be kind of a challenge. Made sure that the bolts for the bumper won't be an issue. I'll have to have the tank loose and kind of tilt that forward to get that one bolt in there. But other than that, I should be able to get a wrench in there and uh, be able to mount the mount the bumper back. And it's kind of neat. It gives you a quick release chuck. It gives you a Schrader valve. You put it on there and you can actually air the tank up before you even turn the compressor on. That and it also gives you, if you wanted to hook a little air hose to it, you could have air to, I don't know, air up your tire or whatever you want to do there. I think the compressor is going to be here just because not really much slack on that hose. I'm going to move that a little bit, and might, but uh, I haven't finalized or ain't no, no Teflon tape in here yet make sure everything is but I'm more than, more than likely gonna have to because this ain't even touching anything so I'm gonna have to uh, maybe make a plate buy a plate piece of metal so I can mount these two right now I just got the uppers hand tight but I think this is gonna work and of course I can tuck the wires out of the way run them to the battery or however that works I think it goes to a relay and then the relay goes to the battery, but gives you a pet cock. I may change that to a quarter valve, like one of those, just a little lever, open close, like a ball valve or something. But until then, tank is mounted. Now it's time for those springs to come out. Stay tuned.